absolutely blown away. And even wearing this in Milan, I had perfumers that weren't aware of it asking me, what are you wearing today? Yeah. Hey guys, Kevin here at the Oligarch store. Now today I have a very special visitor from Adelaide. Thank you, my bro. Good Introduce to be here. Introduce yourself to the audience. My name's Lee Logans. Uh, you can catch me over at uh, on Instagram yep. at Leroy's Niche. So Lee, we have known each other now for about a year, just over a year. A year, year and a half. Yeah. And Nearly two. You've made some visits to our store. For the people that don't know, Lee actually lives in Adelaide. Yes. A city that's, what, eight, nine hours away? Yeah. Eight hour drive, an hour on a plane. Yeah, and we had the chance to hang out with each other in Essence in Milan this yes. year, which is awesome. It was huge. Yeah. It was huge. We which, had the best time. It yeah. was awesome. And we met a lot of the brands as well. We, we had yep. the privilege of, I mean, you had the privilege of sitting down to interview David from Bodicea de Victorious. Yes. Stella. With your you. amazing uh, film model <laughs> It was incredible. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I'm going to pop that video as well, just at the top. So yep. if you guys haven't watched that interview yet with David, who's the CEO. CEO, for those Bodice who, the Victorious. Yeah, those who don't know him, jump over and watch the interview with Leroy and David. Now for today, Lee, if I've got you in the store, we've got to cover some fragrances together. Absolutely. These here are ones that uh, you love, you have yourself. Yep. I've just popped in an extra one at the end that we'll cover. So stay till the end to watch the new release from one of the brands. When you added these together, I saw that these are really dark Evening scents, quite yeah. smoky. Perfect compliment for getting yeah. dressed up. Things like when you're dressed like this, yes. when you're dressed like this, going out with special lady, special lady going out to take dinner. Take the wife out, treat her. Yeah, going out with your friends for dinner, stuff like that. Birthday, today birthday. is actually Lee's birthday as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank yeah. you very much. So I thought, why not do a really special banger video here. I want you to run through the first one. So these are all scents that you have yourself. Why do you love the Oud Tobacco by Armourwood so much? So I bought this one about a year ago and I love tobacco, leather, uh, animalic or boozy scents. Yep. And out of what's available in the tobacco range, mm. this one, once I sampled from the shop, this one stood out amazingly. And it's just uh, the quality of the juice that you get for the price. I think it's and it's unique. Oh, it's a smart. very unique mm. um, tobacco. It's the, their their angle on it is really good. They and really use oud uh, in the base yeah. to just complement all the notes that are in it. Oud tobacco is actually the best seller from the brand. It is tobacco leaves, but it has a really nice dark bourbon vanilla. Yes. So there's this rum yep. kind of a very very classy style scent. Yep. One that you know when you're dressed up like this, yeah. going out in the it's, evening. It doesn't go down your traditional. Uh, tobacco road. It's got its own lane, which is yeah. good with a, yeah. that definite DNA of yeah. tobacco. That booziness, I think, gives an extra element to yes, it. Yes, absolutely. Uh, se separates it from just your typical smoky tobaccos. Very seasonal as well. When would you be wearing the U tobacco in terms of season wise? Probably not in the peak of summer, probably more autumn, winter, spring. Yeah. Uh, that shines. It yeah. really does. Yeah. You can wear it on a hot day, it's fine, yeah. but it just. The, the richness of it comes out really well in the cooler days. Have you been able to wear it uh, during the day or is this more like a just nighttime I, stuff? Look, I, I wear or any of these anytime I feel, but I find if you come home, have a shower at four o'clock and you go out for a lovely dinner, um, that's just that's ideal. the perfect compliment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good. Um, highly yeah. recommend. The next one is from one of my favorite brands. Yeah, got a shout out, Fragrance de Bois. Daniel. Yeah, Daniel from Fragrance de Bois. Um, you've been covering actually quite a few of the fragrances Absolutely. on your channel. Absolutely. That I've and seen. look, I'm I'm just going to say it here on camera because this is how much I love this fragrance. Producer Michael, Fragrance de Bois, thank you because you've made this for me. I know you made it for Producer Michael, but I love this scent so much. And for me, in the price point, I have not bought a scent that even comes close to this. Yeah, and that's strong words, but I'm just absolutely blown away. And even wearing this in Milan, um, I had perfumers that weren't aware of it asking me, what are you wearing today? Yeah. Oh, PM. And then I spray it on the hand and they're just like, wow. Yeah, yeah. This is... Yeah. For those of who aren't aware of producer Michael, actually, he's just a very, you know, very charismatic, bright producer guy. Yep. Done all the Rolling Stones. Yep. Um, done a lot of music, he's a yeah. British guy, now lives in LA. Yeah. On his channel that you can find on YouTube, yep. he does like supercars, luxury watches, watches, 
houses as well. Houses. Um, and so it really makes sense that he's got a luxury fragrance yeah. now. And, yeah. and you know what? And I, I got to give the guy credit because he's not a perfumer. The people that have interviewed him, uh, he said straight up in front of the camera, he goes, I don't know nothing about it because what I do know is what I love. And the special uh, flowers that yep. Fragrance Bar have got, plus the leather, mm. the idea being you open the door of a Rolls Royce, that smell you get of the Alcantara and the leather, the wood, yep. this is beautiful, the, smoky, very elegant. If you own a Bentley and a Rolls Royce, yep. this is your perfect yep. compliment. And I mean, performance, oh. stellar. I would say it's the first Stop. one I've, that I've ever smelt that on my own skin, it's, it lasts me 30 hours. And, and 30 hours. 100% uni. Yeah. It's not just a, 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 a masculine man's yeah. one. Ladies, yeah. women. I think because it has that element of tuberose and some the wild flowers, flowers yeah, that fragrance of barbecue. That has a nice kind of balance. Rolled. Yeah, it's very, very balanced in both ways. It's perfect. But the leather is very powerful. Very strong. Yeah. Very strong. That's what's projecting it. If you're out there watching this and you haven't tried it, please come yeah. and try it. If yeah. you're a leather guy, leather lady, you gotta try this. Yeah, I would say. It's incredible. And for the price. Yeah, I mean, worth every dollar. 610 for 100 mil yeah, is just. That's AUD, by the AUD, way. AUD, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. Um, performance wise, just so crazy. It doesn't have any oud in it. It doesn't need to use no. oud in the base. No. It projects using this very um, smoky leather. And can I just throw yeah, in yeah. as well? The box. Because oh. producer Michael is a car guy. I'm a car guy. Yeah. It's the first box to be made with a carbon fiber lid. Yeah. Piano black box. The Ooh. box is sensational. It's perfect it's, housed yeah. in there. And it's 10 points yeah. for both producer Michael and Fragrance of Bar. The well, Fragrance of Bar boxes, I mean, they're Stella. some of our favorites. Really good. The boxes itself, when you open it up, it feels like you're Jewelry opening box. like a Rolex, like yes. Tech Phillip. Jewelry box. It feels like you're opening up just luxury. Yes. I mean, they've really encapsulated the yeah. whole, er, everything. For the price, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. It really is amazing. Shout out to producer Michael. Shout yes. out to Daniel, Daniel Fragrance Bar, Bar. Whole team. Awesome. Spectacular. Spectacular. The next one is one of your new ones, I think. Yes. Actually, this is interesting. Uh, a good customer of ours um, bought this and he called me around and said, come around and try this. Spray a little bit in my hand. And I, I rang Kevin, I'm like, can you send me a bottle of that? <laughs> I, I love it. it. This is fruity, wood, but it's it's really got a backbone. It's yeah. something about this. You can wear this dressed up, dressed down. Yeah. You can go to the pub, go to the casino. It can be an everyday scent. Yes. For sure. Yes, but it's just, uh, it's a charmer. Yeah. It is, it's a charmer. It has a very nice character to it. It is part of their new uh, prestige collection. So yep. they are all 50 mil. X straight to perform level yep. concentration. So you're, you're going to expect the oil to be very good. Yes, yeah. and excellent price for what you get. Two, I think it's 280 yes. Australian dollars. Yep. Um, Fantastic fragrance. And you really only need 50 mil because you're not yeah. spraying, you're, no. you're not over spraying no. something like this here. No. Two or three sprays, yep. four if you want to go nuts. But at the end of the day, it's it's yeah, really, really. That. So, a um, bit of a read in the back here, but they put the notes. You've got a top note of orange there, pink pepper. And at the heart is where it comes out. That's your rose oud saffron. Oud, yeah. Yeah, so that's... Well, it's... It, and it's a beautiful oud. It's got that... It rolls you in. It's not it's something, very rounded. It's not sharp. It's not well sharp. Rounded. Very rounded. Yeah, um, it's a good oud. Probably because it has that rose and saffron there, yeah. it blends very softly. Yeah, well it's done. It's not very, too like a, like a boom yeah. kind of oud. Take the hat off. Yeah. Done a good job. Very easy to wear kind of oud. The next one is from oh. your favorite brand. This is, this is probably your well, second or third, your top three favorite brands, right? I, I've got to say, I had the privilege, we both had the privilege yeah. of meeting Christian over in Milan. Yeah. And I'd already had uh, two or three uh, of Christian's uh, fragrances and a lot of my friends, I've showed them and they've gone and bought it. Yeah. Uh, this particular one for me, again, we're going back into leather, boozy sort of scents. Uh, this scent for me, it's the quintessential, you know, if you've got the, the lovely suit on, you dress it up, really expensive tie, going out for a lovely oh. dinner, this is, it's, you mm. know, it, it's, it's masculine, yeah. but still has that elegance about it. Yeah. And it's, it's something that people walk past and be like, oh, you smell very good. And it's just the Q Elite 
Here it is very, very aromatic in the leathers, but quite a soft leather. Yes. You have oud in the base that helps it project a bit, but also there's some kind of like nice light citrus notes to it. Yeah, and I think the way the booziness is round into the, the leather, it sort of, it does spin you in and you want to like wear it. It's such a good fragrance. Yeah. Uh, Christian, the DNA is there. Yeah. <clears throat> All Christian's... Um, line the collection you pick up this dna where yes. you know it's made by him yep he's yep. got his own it's, it's his own character there's a reason we call yep. him the rock star yep. master perfumer and I, he, in my book i consider him the best i, I yeah. i'm gonna agree 100 yeah. percent. yeah uh he's a, he's a legend unbelievable man in in person as well uh yep. very cool calm and yep. down to earth fantastic guy now the last one that i wanted to get your nose on is one that you've only just tried this morning, only yes. because it was released over the weekend. This one here is called Rose of a Dangerous Flamenco by Simone Andreoli. And I got to meet the gentleman yeah, at yeah. Milan, and wow, what a cool guy. And uh, um, it's, I went and checked out a few of his fragrance, and I know it's in my wish list yeah. for a few of the brand, or a few of the bottles that I need to get hold of. Yeah. So. On my channel, we'll be doing a review soon as well. So they're this, fantastic. I consider this a, a really, really oh, um, this smooth, smooth. This is evening scent. Perfect. Yeah. You know, you could go out, degustation dinner, and just yeah. sit down, and it's everyone on the table yeah. will ask you, "What are you wearing?" Because there's a really nice class about it. Classy. Yeah. It's very. really, it's a velvet yeah. class about it. Yeah. Um, in the opening here, what you're getting is actually some uh, sweet dried fruits yeah. yep. with, with some dates in it. So yep. it adds that little bit of sweetness in the top. Um, but again, this really is good. this is a perfect blend of rose oud. Yes. It's ro rose oud combination, but with that dried fruits. In the top. More. Yeah. Like more definitely, you know, it has that mass appealing edge, but with the uniqueness. Yeah. yeah. And it's not, yeah. um, it doesn't carry any of the, some rows and woods can be a little bit sharp at each end. Yeah. This is just beautiful. Blended well all with, the way the through. with the dried fruits. I almost get a bit of a, like a rum that comes through yep. it. Yep. Really nice warmth. And this makes it an evening scent. Beautiful. Sure. Yeah. Perfect. And if it's like a 18 degree night, yeah. even up to 25, this will just be just coming off your skin. Beautiful projection. projection. Yeah, the projection. Longevity is there. It's a yeah. high quality product. Yeah. And uh, oh, he's a very good guy. Great house. Yeah. Great house. This is just a very, very big uh, special mention that we want to give to these spectacular houses. Yeah. Perfect evening sense that you guys should check out. You can find yep. it on our website. Go on to oligarch.com.au. Um, thank you to my brother here. Thank you. You can find Leroy. Where's that? At Instagram is at... Le at Leroy's Niche. Yep. Under uh, at Leroy underscore Niche. Yep. And you'll be... Well, on the page there, you cover niche and very luxury brands. Luxury niche. Yeah. Yep. So niche kind of perfumery. The more higher end niche. of yeah. um, this niche stuff. fragrances. Yeah, really. This, good, stuff. this kind of stuff, yeah. These are all ones that you've got in your own collection. So Absolutely. You vouch for Absolutely. these. Absolutely. And I, they're in my collection. I own them. I bought them my own money and I love them. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next week for another episode. See ya. Take care. Ciao. Ciao.